Hey guys, it's AJ from Design the Everything. Today we'll be using Fusion 360 to make a two-part mold to cast some silicon rubber in. Now this is the silicon I'm talking about. This was um, just some leftover material from a mold that I made. I really have enjoyed playing this little cube and I've, it's been in my pocket for about the past month. Uh, I just fidget with it when I uh, need to do something with my hands. Uh, a friend of mine saw it and requested a spherical one so we're going to go ahead and make a mold to make that spherical one. To do that, we're going to be using the revolve command, and we'll be working a lot in three dimensions instead of doing two dimensions and then making it 3D. Uh, in this case, we're going to start, we're going to, well, we we'll have to do a couple shapes, two-dimensional, make them 3D. But for the most part, we're going to be doing, uh, we'll be working on 3D shapes. So let's go over to Fusion. Now we're going to make a sketch on our bottom plane and we're going to go to rectangle and rectangle by center go ahead and make that now we want the uh the sphere to be an inch and a half by an inch and a half so let's go ahead and make this ranked rectangle two inches by two inches so i'm going to hit uh, two to fill in that dimension i'm going to hit tab it's going to bring us down to the other dimension here i'm going to hit two and then enter uh, so we have a square there. I'm going to hit E for extrude and select our profile. And then I'm going to extrude that three inches. Uh, I'm making it a little bit taller because we're going to need room for the, um, for the silicon to get into our mold. The sprue. It's called a sprue. Okay, so there's our basic outside mold. Now let's go ahead and make what the inside of that looks is going to look like. So I'm going to start another sketch. And this time I'm going to do it on one of the upright ones. I'm going to come over here out to the right. Um, and I'm going to start with a line going straight up. And I probably don't want that to go all the way down. So I'm going to do a dimension, sketch, dimension. And I'm going to dimension that off of the um, the origin here. So let's make that 0.25 so it matches all of our other wall thicknesses. And then I'm going to do a construction line. So I'm gonna hit L for line. I'm gonna drag that over. I'm gonna hit escape to get out of the tool. Then I'm gonna come over here to the sketch palette. I'm going to click on the uh, line we just made there and hit the construction line button. Um, so now to connect this point to that line there, I'm going to hit coincidence, that point, that line, and now they are connected. So that's going to be the, the axis, the center line of our, um, our mold. I'm going to hit escape to get out of that. And let's make a circle. So the shape we're making now, we are going to revolve and turn that into a, um, into a sphere with the sprue coming off of it. Uh, so I'm gonna hit two point circle, make my circle up, and then we wanted that to be an inch and a half, so 1.5, enter, and there's our circle. So now we need the sprue. So again, I'm gonna use the line tool. I'm gonna hit L for line. I'm gonna start over here and just make a angled shape back up to our, our top point there. We're going to come back down here to this intersection. I'm going to just set that distance. So I'm going to hit D for dimension and click the line and the endpoint there. Um, the silicon can be pretty thick. So we want the, the sprue here to be big enough to let the silicon through, but narrow enough that it uh, is easy to get off of our part. So let's change that to... Uh, let's do 0 0.125 divided by, actually, let's do, let's do just do 0 0.1. Um, that'll give us a 0 0.2 inch uh, sprue there at the top, uh, or at the uh, top of the sphere. And then let's do this dimension here. I'm going to hit D for dimension, click the center, the axis, the end point of the axis, and then hit the end point of the sprue. Uh, and let's make that 0 0.5. Actually, let's go, let's go a little bit wider. So I, have an easier time pouring it. Uh, let's go 0.75. So that'll give us an inch and a half sprue. Um, 
We'll probably waste a lot of material filling up that sprue, but that's okay. I'm just using scrap silicon at this point. Um, and it'll, it'll make it easier to pour it in. All right, so then we need to start making this one shape that we can rotate. You see right now how we have several different closed profiles. We just need one closed profile so that this shape will revolve. So I'm gonna um, come over here to the sketch drop-down bar. I'm gonna find trim. Um, this just gets rid of the parts. This gets rid of the uh, the center part of a line between two other lines. So that's not connected anymore. It's the rest of the circle is not there. And this is filled in in that nice, pretty salmon color, which means we have one profile. So I'm going to hit Stop Sketch. Now I'm going to come over here to the Revolve tool, uh, which we looked at in more detail in a different video. I'm going to select this profile and then select this axis. It's going 360 degrees. It's becoming a new body. OK. Um, so now as we look around at this, we have a sphere with a, a cone sticking up. We're next to our box. Um, eventually, what we're going to do is we're going to move this the, the sphere inside our box, and we're going to do a, a Boolean operation and subtract it out. But before we do that, we need some reference marks. So I'm going to hit the sketch tool, go to the top of the circle here, and I need a, um, a point right at the center of this circle. Um, so I'm going to go to the project button. Uh, and project this geometry over. Uh, what that does is that moves the edge of this and it makes it part of our sketch. And it should have just created a point there. So I'm gonna look back at it. I'm gonna hit the top button to look straight on again. I'm gonna go to sketch, point, and it should let us snap to the center of the circle. Look, it does. All right, so now we have a, a point in this sketch right at the center of that circle. So I'm gonna go to stop sketch. I'm gonna do the same thing over at this cube. So I'm gonna do a sketch right on top of it. Um, I'm going to go to sketch, project, and then project these four sides. Then this time to find the center, I'm gonna to go to the line tool and I'm going to connect the corners. Now in doing this, that gives us one point right in the center that we can put a, uh, a point on. All right, and then so now we have a point on the, uh, the, the case here and a point on the mold. So I'm gonna hit okay. Now I'm gonna move this into the mold. So I'm gonna go to the modify drop down here on the ribbon. I'm gonna find the move command and uh, select the one we're gonna move right at that point. So I selected that on that center point of the top we just built. And I'm gonna come over here and move point to point. So I'm gonna click that, and I'm gonna click on that center point, and then that center point. Hit okay. And now our shape is right in the center of our mold body there. So except we want that to be a hole. So we're gonna to go to modify, and then combine. Now it says combine, but it really just means do a Boolean operation. Uh, a Boolean operation is when you, is either an add, a subtract, or a intersection. You can see all of those here. They call it join, cut, or intersect. Um, we want a cut. So we start off by the target body. That's the one that we want left when we're done. That's the, the shape that we want modified. Our tool body is what's doing the modification and that's gonna go away when we're done. So when I hit okay, we are now left with a, um, a solid shape and it has our mold as a hole inside there. Um, we could actually just go ahead and 3D print this and cut the, uh, um, or pour the, the silicon in there and then just cut it out or just smash the 3D printed model and it would probably work all right. Let's get a little bit fancier than that. Um, first, I wanna hide these annoying sketches here. So the, the two placement sketches, we don't need those anymore. So I'm just gonna hit the light bulbs on them and make them disappear. Now I'm gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a surface 
um, on the side here that'll it'll go through the center this way and we're going to use that to cut out some geometry so we can split this mold right down the center and have a, uh, a two-part mold so i'm going to go to sketch i'm going to click on the side here and now i'm going to make a zigzag uh, this zigzag will help us um, it'll help uh, index the two pieces together for when we uh, we go to make the mold because we have so since we have this zigzag and it's a fairly unique zigzag that means the pieces will mesh straight together um, they aren't the two pieces aren't going to be offset a little bit which will leave us some flashing uh, so we have that sketch you could make these neat I just went for it um, they aren't going to affect the final shape of the uh, the molded the the molded body itself at all. Um, so now we want to extrude this out and make that into a surface. So we're going to go to create, and we're going to go to create form. This is going to bring us into a different section of Fusion 360. Uh, this is the surface modeling uh, workbench, the sculpt workbench it calls it. And we're going to go to create. Um, and we want a uh, we want to extrude this profile, and we want to extrude it all the way through over here. So that's going to be our knife. You can think of it. That's going to be cutting our thing in half. Um, I'm going to hit OK, and now we have a surface there. So when I hit Finish Form, we're we're back in our modeling environment. And we have that zigzag line going all the way through our model. So now it's just a matter of um, coming over here. We're going to hit modify, split body. We're going to choose our uh, mold body here. And then for the splitting tool, we're just going to select that plane. Uh, let's actually do it on the tree here so we make sure we get all of it. We're going to select that plane. We're going to hit OK. Then we're going to come back over to our move command. We're going to select one side, and I'm just going to move that out. Um, I'll shrink down, or I'm going to hit enter and get rid of the move command. Um, and then I'm going to hide our body. So now, as you can see, we have our mold in a couple pieces here. Um, so when those get meshed together, it'll make a... Uh, um, it'll it'll form a mold that'll be hopefully watertight. I'll probably uh, rubber band these up really well and maybe use some silk or some uh, hot glue to um, seal the edges, and that'll make a mold. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get this th printing and cast our part, and we'll see what happens. Um, I'll be back. So I just pulled the silicon out of the mold. This is what it looks like. Um, you can tell it's definitely round. It's more or less the right shape. I don't see any egginess to it at all. There is quite a bit of flashing around the edges. Uh, this is after I've already gone back and trimmed it off. Uh, you can also tell at the top, there were quite a few air bubbles. Uh, the silicon was, I think, a little bit thicker than I had intended. Um, and it, it made it difficult to get down there and the air bubbles couldn't escape up. I probably should have thinned it out or used a, uh, a larger sprue in order to get those bubbles out. Uh, this was what the sprue looked like. I also trimmed some flashing off of this. Uh, it was actually super interesting. The flashing that came out was exactly the shape of that surface we extruded. Because uh, it was able to escape between where it meshed up or where it didn't mesh up very well. It would have worked out a lot better if I had printed this on higher print setting on um, better quality print settings. I printed this off on um, a super fast draft. So it printed quickly, but it's really rough. Uh, if I had put any effort into surfacing the inside of the mold, this could have come out just about, you know, mere smooth, depending on how much time I wanted to take. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. And if you want to watch the rest of my videos as they come out, please subscribe. Thank you very much.